guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing the Shop Yo Stash Challenge. And basically that means I'm going to uh, take a look at some of my stuff that's, some of it's, you know, a few months old. Some of it is like from last month. Um, just looking at things that I've kind of forgotten about and haven't really used yet to see how I can incorporate them into my current planner setup. Sometimes I think we tend to just keep buying new things and we see all the pretty new things and we forget about the stuff that we already have. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of shop through stuff I already have. So you'll see here that these are two uh, Babe Box envelopes. And that was just the easiest way for me to put everything in here. Uh, what I did was I just kind of went through... Oh, you know what? Hold on. I think I forgot one thing. Okay. There were a few things that I forgot to grab. But <laughs> I just went through my drawers and you know, various places that I have planner stuff and just kind of put everything in these two little pouches here so we can go through them. I haven't really thoroughly looked at anything. So right here on top, I see a simply gilded piece of vellum with a sticker on the back. And I had this in my B6 and I think I just like got sick of looking at it. You know, sometimes it's you get tired of like looking at the same thing every day and it's still very beautiful. I'm not quite ready to, to use it yet, but I'm, I'm holding on to it because it's so pretty. I just, you know, you like to change it up. Same thing. I had this as a dashboard on my B6 and like, it's very cute and it's, you know, but I just I had it for a little bit and I'm, I'm, you know, I just want something new. I want a new look, but I, uh, it's good to, you know, keep that kind of stuff. You can always change your setup. This, <laughs> so freaking cute. This is a Super Mario Brothers sticker book, uh, obviously. And I actually got this at my friend James's uh, 30th birthday party. Um, and his mom, his mom like works at an arts and crafts store and she got everybody a sticker book. And so obviously I was like, um, yeah, anybody who doesn't want that, can I, can I like, yeah. So, and, and more recently, I've really been thinking about doing a video game themed B6TN because yes, I need another B6TN. Yep. I really don't, but, um, I really want a dedicated place to, you know, cause I thought about just using a notebook, but I really want like different sections and I want, I like the B6 size. Uh, we'll get to it in a minute. Cause there's something that I know that's in here that inspired me to want to create a separate B6TN. So just, we'll get there. Oh my God. This, so this is from the Back to Basics Babe Box, which I did not get, but this journaling card came in one of my random orders and oh my God, look at it. Yeah, I need to find a way to incorporate this into one of my planners. Um, I might put it in my, mm, I'm not sure yet. It's just, I'm really bad about like hoarding journaling cards because they're so pretty, but like this needs to be in a planner. Um, I'm going to get to this pretty soon. I'm going to put this over here because I want to make sure I don't forget about it. Okay. These things right here are what inspired me. I completely forgot about these. Okay. So believe it or not, uh, in 2020, I actually went to events before you know, the outbreak, <laughs> which is hilarious looking at Last of Us. Um, and I bought art and I completely forgot about it because I bought it and I came home <sighs> and I tucked it away and oh my good. So these are from Detroit Become Human, um, which is an absolutely incredible game. If you haven't played it, highly recommend. Um, but when I saw these, and I saw this, this is from Last of Us Part 2, um, I just thought, I just, I want a dedicated place to not only track video game releases, but also journal about the games I'm playing and do memory keeping, print out my screenshots. And I've been trying to incorporate it into my other planners, like I had created a video game tracker in my catch-all. And I did use it up through, you know, when it ended. Um, it was a great, you know, it was a great uh, thing to have and it worked. But I, f I just, 
I really want like a separate dedicated place, if that makes sense. Um, and so seeing these kind of inspired me. So I think now the only the only thing I'm thinking is that this is too big for a B6TN and I would have to trim it. And I'm so like, I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, I just I really <laughs> I really don't want to cut this beautiful art, but it wouldn't it wouldn't have to be that that much. Mm, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. I just really like the B6 size. And yeah, so that's some art that I found that I need to uh need to use very soon. All right. Here are some papers from the Personality Crisis 2.0 box, which was back in September. Was it that long ago? Was it September? Time is I don't know what time is anymore. So these are the papers I have left over. Um, I used a lot of these papers. I have a couple in my B6. Uh, kind of my, I guess I'd call it my catch-all B6 TN. <laughs> um, it has, it's where I do memory keeping, journaling, mood tracking, and then just a brain dump. Um, so I used a few in there. And the acetate and vellum, uh, I believe, are in there as well. And these are the leftovers. And... I definitely want to use them. I'm just not sure how yet. But they're very pretty and they don't need to be sitting in a drawer. Oh my goodness. This is... Number one, this is old. Like, I have had this for... Probably three, maybe four years. Like, I've had this almost since I started with Happy Planner back in... Uh, 2017 or 2016, 2015. I don't know. I don't know what time is. And I obviously decorated this. Um, I remember updating this early this year. This is from just this past May. This is from March. Um, so some of these are recent. <laughs> Look at my niece. Oh my god. Um, but I definitely want to use this again. I just want to change some of the like like this sticker is peeling up here this floral sticker um and it's like you can see here how just over the years of me putting it in and pulling it out of my planner it has kind of like ripped the the laminate there but I mean it still works fine it pops right in and I have a little today thing on there to kind of mark my place so um there's definitely nothing wrong with it I just want to give it like a little refresh so I'm going to keep that out and be sure to do that very soon Okay, I'm excited about these. These have been in a drawer. I know, it's a sin. So these are B6TN inserts. Now, this one is not B6 size. It's it's smaller, um, but it will work. Like this is B6TN size or B6 size, and this is obviously smaller, but it will still fit, uh, you know, there on the elastics. So basically, one day I went to Dollar Tree when I was first getting into like when I discovered like oh my god traveler's notebooks are everything I was on the hunt for inserts and when I saw this at Dollar Tree y'all now the only thing I don't like about it is it's lined I wish it was dock rib but I it was a dollar so I really can't complain but like this cover though and the foil you kidding so I haven't used it yet but it's absolutely gorgeous, and this is one that I will definitely be using when I need a new insert. You know, when I've filled one up, um, either in my catch-all or, yeah, that's probably what I'm getting. Like, when I fill up my journaling insert, my catch-all, I'll probably switch to this one. Uh, it's very beautiful, and I love it. This is also from Dollar Tree. Now, again, this is not the, not really the correct size, but it would fit in a TN cover or I can just use it for just notes or whatever. It's just, it's just cute. It was, it was a dollar. I mean, I still have the sticker on it. I need to, <laughs> I need to get that off. Um, and it did have some like imperfections here, but it was a dollar. And I do really like that it looks, yeah, it looks like I can remove it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I could remove this from the cover if I wanted to. That's pretty interesting. Um, but I just couldn't leave this a dollar tree. It was too cute. 
And this is by Shine Sticker Studio, and this came in a pack um, that I got at Michael's, and these are, you know, B6 size inserts, they're five by seven, and oh my god, just look, look at it. It's purple lined, like, come on now. Um, it's very, very cute. It's got this cute little unicorn on it. And I think I want to use this in the uh, video game B6 TN I'm going to make. Um, it is lined, which would be good for journaling uh, or even for, for memory keeping. It's very cute. It's just cute. Not really much, <laughs> much else to say, but I absolutely love it. And the other ones from this, this pack I'm currently using in my B6 TN catch-all. Um, I have one for memory, no, the memory keeping one is Honeybee Shop. I have one for mood tracking, um, mood tracking, journaling, and brain dump are all Shine Sticker Studio, which I got at Michael's, and I got them on sale, and they were like, it was like dumb cheap. It was like $3, and you got four, four of these, something like that. Okay. So this I'm probably going to use pretty soon, so I'm going to put that in this pile. And these I will use later. I keep these on my shelf because they're just cute, pretty to look at. So I found this in a drawer, and I remember where I got this. I got it at Michael's. You can see it's a giant roll. And it's like, I don't know what you call this stuff, but it's basically, you know, I can't like find the end of the roll. It's tape. I really don't know what you what you call this. I remember I found it in the clearance section and it came like in a pack with a few others. But I thought maybe I could use this to like kind of like use it as white out if I make a mistake or use it to like cover up lines or, or something. I just feel like there's I could do a lot with this and it's been sitting in a drawer. So I want to take it out and kind of keep it near me so I could use it in the near future. This adorable little notebook, I mean, I don't know if you can tell just how small it is, like it is, <laughs> oh my gosh, I got this, and I have like fond memories of where I got it, which is cool too, um, I got this at a Japanese festival, um, and that was when I went, I believe I got this two years ago, and it's, I mean, it's just... Was I not supposed to buy that? Like, are you kidding? And it is made in Japan. Like, it was, you know, imported from Japan. And I just, I absolutely love it. It's cute. And I want to use these little note cards. Uh, maybe laminate a couple of them. So I could use, like, wet erase marker and, like, reuse them. Maybe write, like, a little positive quote or quote of the day or something. Um, and I can also, you know, use washi tape and tape them down in my planner or whatever. They're just, oh my God, they're just so cute. My husband got me these and I was just so happy. Like they're PlayStation page flags. Like what else can I say? Love them. And I punched, it didn't come punched. <laughs> I, uh, I punched it myself so I could pop it in my planner and I need to do that. I don't know why I took it out. This notebook, uh, or no notepad, I guess, this came from an old job I worked at, and they ordered these for everyone, and I have been hoarding them for quite some time, and I just, I just think they're cute. I found it, and I want to just kind of keep it out and continue to use it. Okay, so this next pouch here, I found these, and this isn't even all of them. But these are like these beautiful textured papers that I got in a pack at Walmart. And I will um, I'll put the video in the, in the cards and also in the description where I unbox these and talk about them a little more in depth. But these are just great for like layering and a journal, uh, for memory keeping. Like, and you get the amount that you get in like all the different textures and colors. Like I'm here for it. Um, yeah, absolutely love these. This would be really good for Christmas. Holy crap. So I wanted to take them out and kind of keep them out of the drawer for a little bit. So I remember to actually use them because I just forget about, oh my God. 
Look at that. Yeah, they are very, very pretty. You get so many, they're all different sizes. So I just want to take some of them out and remember that I have them so I can actually use them. All right, and then this is relatively recent. Tell me how I cut and I kept this strip like, oh yeah, I can use that strip. Girl, you're not gonna use that. <laughs> anyway. So this is relatively recent. This is from the um, Blush Baby Babe Box from Honeybee Shop. And I just, I've been kind of like hoarding these. Like, look, oh my God. Look how pretty that is. And then we have an acetate here with rainbows. And it's so, oh my gosh. It's so pretty. And then we have these papers. So I did, um, if you saw my video where I redecorated my social media planner, again, I can link that in the cards and in the description. But um, yeah, um, I redid my social media planner in this blush baby theme uh, because my social media planner is very much kind of neutral and functional. And I just thought this would be, you know, a great way to utilize these more neutral colors that I don't normally gravitate toward, but I have these left over and I just love, like, oh my God, I love this paper. I love the patterns and I just need to figure out how I want to use them. So wanted to take these out, kind of keep them out. I definitely need to use these like ASAP. They're just, oh, this is my favorite. That is <laughs> so pretty. It's unreal. All right, guys, so that's just a few things that I found in my stash that I completely forgot about. Some of them I remember because they're kind of recent, but some of them I really did just forget about. I forgot I had these, forgot about this whole thing, forgot about this insert, this dashboard. I'm really excited to redecorate this. These papers I want to use, I got to start using more of these. And again, finding these like just really gave me so much inspiration because I just really want to do a video game theme B6TN. And I know I don't need to spend money on another B6TN cover. However, if I could find one for a decent price, I'm planning on getting one and then I can, you know, decorate. I'm probably going to laminate these. Y'all know me. Ever since I got that laminator... I can't stop laminating. I just want to laminate everything. So I'm probably going to laminate um, all this and <laughs> and then find a way to incorporate it um, in a video game themed B6TN. B6TN is just like my life right now. I love it. So I think that would be a great way to kind of keep all my video game stuff separate. I, I do. I go back and forth. You know, do I want to like have like a, a true catch-all where I have like everything in one planner and like Franken plan and I just lately I haven't been liking that like my catch-all is like home and work stuff and that's kind of it like social media I have a social media planner I just recently you know I had budget in my catch-all now I moved budget to a separate planner uh from Bloom Daily Planners which be sure you check out that video I made the budget planner into a disc bound even though it's not a disc bound um you know so I've been kind of gravitating toward having separate planners. You know, it changes all the time. Next year, I might be like, yeah, I want to go to a, you know, one giant disc bound. Who knows what I'm going to want next year. But for right now, I like keeping things separate um, as far as planners and all that go. And I really just want to have a dedicated space to, you know, share my love of video games and have it, you know, something I can look back on. Because I wish, you know, looking back, I wish I had journaled about different experiences I've had. Like, the first time I played The Last of Us. Like, if I, oh my god, like, the first time I played Uncharted. Like, if I had a journal where I had written about that, and I just, I just don't. So, that's something I definitely want to get better about doing. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you have not, um, and be sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications, click the bell, because I have one video going up, a minimum of one video going up every day in December up through Christmas. 
So 25 total videos. We might have a couple bonuses here and there, depending on if I get some happy mail and want to do a quick unboxing. But that is it. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time.